Hello students, in this session we are going to learn chapter 6, Control Structures. You are going to learn in this video, Jumping Statements. Continue, break, pass. What is the jump statements in Python? A jump statement in Python is used to unconditionally transfer the control from one part of the program to another. There are three keywords to achieve jump statements in Python. They are break, continue, pass. As you learnt the looping statement while and for, the, both the looping statements will execute set of statements multiple times based on the given condition. If the condition is true, it will execute and keeps on executing until the condition is false. That is the working principle of looping statements. But there may be some situations to control the flow or transfer the flow from one part to another, pro another part in the looping statement or in the if statement. So we can use the three keywords to transfer the control. Let's learn. The working principle of break, continue and pass. After that, as a programmer, you decide where to use these keywords. So, what is the break statement? Break sta statement terminates the loop. First point terminates the loop. Control of the program flows to the statement immediately after the body of the loop. That means, if the if statement is having a else part, even though the loop is terminated, it will not execute the else part. It will go to the next part of else. Is it clear? First point, break terminates the loop. Second point, while terminating, it will not execute the else part if it is present there. It will move to the next part of the else. Third point, if it is in a nested looping, we noted discussed nested looping in Python, but I hope you remember what you learnt in C++. Nested if, if within another if. Nested loop, loop within another loop. This is said to be nested loop. So, in case, if the break statement is present in a nested loop, the break will terminate the innermost loop. This is the working principle of break. What about continue? Break terminates the loop. Continue, skip the remaining part of the loop and start with the next iteration. That means it will not terminate but skip the remaining part of the loop and start with the next iteration. You will understand when you see the example. Pass is a null statement. When executed by the interpreter, it is completely ignored. That means it is ignored. So if there is a need to ignore some of the lines, it is useful when the program is checked with the real-time deployment. We will see the example now. Not, not to, up to the level of deployment, only up to your syllabus. See the example here for word in jump statement. I hope you remember this. You learnt in the for loop. So for loop is here. As you know, the variable word is going to hold the character one by one, which is present in the double quotes. Here the word is jump statement. So it is going to hold j, u, yump one by one. And the else part is end of the loop. Next is end of the program. Here I commented the break statement. Let me see without the break. So it is executing all the uh, letters which are present in jump statement followed by the else part and the end of the program. It is the normal procedure. Now if we insert a break in this for loop what will happen? We are given a condition as word equal to equal to E. J, U, M, P, space, S, T, A, T, E. 
So when it reaches the first E letter, the loop will terminate. So it will execute only up to T and it will skip the else part and come to the end of the program. Am I right? Only it is coming up to T because the first T is present here. So it is terminated in this place. Then skip also not executed. Next line of the skip is print end of the program that is executed. Is it clear children? We will check with another letter. Um, we will check with the N. Can you able to see M E N? So here it is terminated. So now we will see the example for continue. Same for word in jump statement. In the word yum, oh, first I will say yes for yes. So when it reaches yes, I am saying continue. So what does the output means? When it reaches yes, it will skip. That means here it will not execute. It go for the ne next iteration. That means the yes is not printed. This line is skipped when continue reaches. When yes comes, it will skip this line and go for the next iteration. So after P space, then T will come. Let's check. Can you able to see this? Yes is not present. So continue will skip and move to the next iteration. I'll give E. There are two letter E in the statement. Can you see here? Here also E is missing. Here also the letter E is missing. So this is the difference between break and continue. So what about pass? Pass means null statement, no operation. Here first line is getting an input from the user enter any number if a is equal to equal to 0 if the user gives a pass we'll check so i'm giving a number as 8 so it is going to the else part non zero value is accepted so as the con condition is false, it is executing the else part. If it is 0, pass. So no execution of if. So it is passing. Is it clear children? So when the keyword pass is given, no operations. That means no execution is done there. So you have learned three keywords. What are the keywords? Jump, continue. What are the three keywords in jump statements? Break, continue, pass. Break will terminate. Continue will skip to the next iteration. Pass um, does not do any operation. It is equal to a null statements. So these are the jump statements. Thank you. Have a good day.